In this video clip, I'm going to go over how to reword a thesis. I'm using the assignment uh, week 13 rewording a thesis to help me demonstrate to you all how to reword a thesis. So when you have an essay, um, you have an intro paragraph, a body paragraph, and a concluding paragraph. Your first sentence or the first sentence of your concluding paragraph should be a reworded thesis. There are two steps that can be taken to reword a thesis. First one, include a concluding transition. Um, words like, therefore, comma. Uh, in conclusion, comma. Or all in all, comma. These are all concluding transitions, examples at least, of concluding transitions. There are many more than just these. You can Google them to see a more full list of concluding transitions. You also, after you include your concluding transition, you need to make at least three changes to the thesis. Um, to the thesis that's in your intro paragraph, which should be the last sentence of your intro. And then for your concluding paragraph, it'll be the first sentence of the concluding paragraph. Anyhow, um, you need to make at least three changes to the thesis. You could remove words, replace words, rearrange words, or add words. Um, and you can do any combination. If you just add multiple words, that works. Or if you replace multiple words only, that works. You don't have to do three different areas. You just need to make at least three changes. That's what I recommend. Let's do an example, though. Let's look at number one. Here we have a thesis. Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches are the best type of sandwich. Uh, let's act like we have a whole entire intro paragraph above this, and then the last sentence of this intro is our thesis. Cool. When we get to our concluding paragraph, we need to make sure that we reword this thesis first. The first sentence, the first sentence of a concluding paragraph should be a reworded thesis. That's very important. So let's follow our steps. Using including transition, make at least three changes. I'm gonna demonstrate how to do these things. Uh, so we have our sentence, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches are the best type of sandwich. I need to add in a concluding transition. Let's use therefore. Therefore, comma, here we go. Step one, done. Then we have peanut butter and jelly sandwiches are the best type of sandwich. I need to reword this. I'll start by rearranging, because I think that'll work best for me. Um, so I could say, therefore, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches are the best type of sandwich. Ah, I got it. The best type of sandwich. is a peanut butter and jelly, or is peanut butter and jelly. Then I can get rid of this part. Okay, so that's one change. The best type of sandwich is peanut butter and jelly. I think I could replace the word best. Um, I'll say the most delicious type of sandwich is peanut butter and jelly, all right? Um, that's two changes, and I'm going to even delete some more words, and that'll be my third change. We'll remove type of. So we've got, therefore, the most delicious sandwich is peanut butter and jelly. Perfect. We have a reworded thesis. It says the exact same thing as our original thesis, just in a different way.